What am I doing with my life? Hello, everybody. It's me on your Sunday afternoon. Or should I say Sunday night? It's no longer afternoon. Look outside. It's dark out. It's no longer an afternoon. <laughs> yeah, you do hear me. I, would, I was hoping that would be the case. And we didn't have audio issues this time. Look at that! Progress. Tim Curry agrees. <laughs> I, 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 I love Tim Curry. He is a national treasure. Everything he kind of touches turns to gold. Oh boy, giving me a, a SCP bits? You give me Euclid's? Euclid bits? NJ, hello! Hi, how are you? Oh, we have been very busy. Five biddies! I see those five biddies. Oh, shoot. That reminds me. Thank you for reminding me. Boop. I needed to uh, reopen this. Because uh, I had it closed because it was broken. And I forgot to reopen it. It's been a very busy day. We literally sold at least 10 items today. That's a lot of items. That's a lot of fish. There we go. Now you got your notification. Yay! Hype for notifications. So, uh, as you can see on the title of the stream, we will be playing this, this game. A game. It is a game. Indeed, it is a game. It is a game that has been following a trend for the last uh, 10 years where everything has to have a dating simulator. And I mean everything. I have seen some of the weirdest freaking dating simulators come out. I've seen Daddy Dating Simulator. I've seen Cat Dating Simulator. I've seen Kentucky Fried Chicken Dating Simulator. And now this one. Now we have the DVD Dating Simulator where you can either date Mr. Muscles himself, the trapper, Miss Muscles herself, the huntress, and Raythor Spirit. So you can you can date your Sundere or this one dude that just has a bunch of bad luck and can go invisible. That's it. That's all it is. You know that that's his his like um his whole shtick, right? He literally was just a guy that had a ton of bad luck that kept bad things just kept happening to him. That's the wraith. <laughs> Hello, Takimi. I'll say, uh, hooked on, uh, oh god, hooked on you, about to make me act up for real, for real. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, sweating bullets, somebody get me my rag! Oh god, he's hot! By the way, to, uh, I wanted to also update you guys here, um, well, I, there I go, I properly loaded. Yay, la 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 loading I was properly loading, what happened? We have a problem. What happened to the program? It shut itself down? Or are you kidding me? Why would it shut itself down? Fixing, fixing problem. Uh, and I think I fixed the problem. There we go. Yeah, I think I fixed the problem. And I look at over at you guys. Chat is over. There you are. There's chat. Um. So what was I I stating before? Everything went to heck. Oh right, the video. So. There are a handful of things I need to do. Not very many at this point. But the video is complete. And I will be showing the rest of this video off very soon. Well, not today, but very soon. And that will be uploaded probably by tomorrow and be live for everybody to see. This is one, some of my best work. There is so many edits in this video. 
I would really love you if you would take the time to watch it. Um, because there are some hilarious bits in here that make me laugh every single time I watch them. And I also would appreciate it if you did share it amongst your friends, if you like funny video game content. Because that is something that I've been needing is a lot of help getting my YouTube. Now, if you don't know where my YouTube is, there we go. So that link, that'll link you to my YouTube. You can go subscribe to my channel there, where I try to put up uh, full streams as well as the um, SCP infect streams, where I infect video games, where then I just take the videos and then edit them down. I would really like to be able to hire a, high, a highlighter so I can... I'm not the only one making these videos because this is really important stuff. The highlight videos are more important than the full streams because they're more condensed. But I don't have the money right now. 40, 40 to 50 bucks to usually hire one or maybe sometimes 80 depending on how big my stream is. But there's only so much I can afford. So, so you guys sharing the, the video when it finally comes out it does help a lot and it helps spread the word and then maybe eventually I can hire somebody to help with these videos. Because that would be superb right about now. Sorry, I just wanted to play a second of that. But you can see I've, I've done a lot of editing. You can, you'll see, you can see, you can see, okay? Here's how much editing has gone into this. I'll show you. This is nothing. This is nothing compared to what I have done here. This is the, the full set of editing right here. You can see how much audio and whatnot I've put into this content. Thank you for the patties, by the way, Maxi. Thank you, thank you. See, here we go. This, don't ignore this stuff. This, I need to put this in here just to finish some edits, but yeah, you can see all the audio, all the visuals, everything up here, like everything here and everything here are all edits. This is all the music down here. Um, and that's not even including some of the edits I did to the video footage itself. Careful. I was careful at first, you know, oh god, another low-budget dating sim, but I saw the art in the trailers, and I saw Huntress. It took me, like, 0 0.2 seconds to buy it, I swear to god. Like, the, the art looks really good in it. It does look like another cheesy, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, dating sim. But, at the same time... It was only $10, which ain't bad for a dating simulator game. And how much stupid, how stupid did they, they make this is my question. How much on the nose is this game going to be? I feel like it's going to be very on the nose. I think there's going to be a lot of in-game uh, in humor, maybe a lot of community-based humor. I think that they're they are going to be super cheesy with this. Also, I turned on the game and read this. And that's how far I've gotten so, thus far. Please read the following terms and conditions while we arrange your tropical paradise for your stay. We guarantee a lot of reading ahead. Why not start with these? That actually opened up a web browser for privacy settings. Um, it says, if you do not agree to this policy, you mu must not use the behavior services. What personal inf information is collected by behavior? Identification and contact data, IP address, country of origin, device and platform data. That's quite a bit of information you're collecting on me, behavior. Why is that? For what purposes and personal use? They are telling us... I like how they summarize it, at least. Customize and improve your services. If you wanted to do that behavior, you would fix Freddy. 
and a lot of other things in your goddamn video game. Don't, don't customize and improve my service. Improve your fucking game first. Okay, thanks. Analyze and provide statistics to use your services. Manage clearly unlawful conduct and misuse of services. Send newsletters and promotions. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, give me all your newsletters and try to sell me everything. Treat job application. Date, uh, what? Treat job applications and for other purposes detailed in section one. What do you mean? Job. Are you giving me a job? Are you hiring me behavior? I. I don't know if I like this idea of working for behavior. They're Canadian. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm sorry. Please don't be angry at me. Don't hate me because I said that comment only for be yucks and chuck chuck and chuckles. Oh, I have played through like two days and oh my god, it's actually ridiculous. Why am I not surprised? Speaking of DBD, anyone see the Wesker trailer? Yes! Kratos. Total world saturation. I will be a god, Kratos. How can you not? He has, they hired the original voice actor. And I mean, they even say, he even says it in game in number five. He goes, you will not survive to see the dawn. Which is hilarious because the game is literally called Dead by Daylight. And they have that line read several times in the game. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Wesker is the cheesiest, uh, outright most silly uh, uh, villain in Resident Evil. And I love him. He's so freaking over the top and hilarious. I've loved him since Resident Evil 1. And to be able to play him, he'd probably be up there with my nemesis gameplay. Especially since I read his powers. His powers look awesome. So basically, he's kind of like Nemi, where you infect people. But he's very similar to the plague, where it takes time. Um, when they, uh, I think it's hindered if you become fully infected. And if he also has this like pounce attack and the pounce attack literally is a an effect that uh, somebody else came up with a long time ago. There was this, these guys that wanted to put the tyrant um, Mr. X into the game and they came up with the power of backhanding people and slamming them against pallets and walls when you hit them. And it's literally the exact same power. However, now Wesker has it. You can slam people into pallets and that destroys the pallet. It also allows you to jump and over pallets if you miss and over um, windows, which is awesome. Not only that, but if he's if a survivor is fully injured and or is injured and fully infected, you will literally pick that person up. You will automatically grab them and put them on your shoulder. You, will, you don't even have to knock them down and pick them up. You just have them instantly. Freaking Wesker looks so cool. My money on Wesker Mori is him being a sadistic bastard to the survivor, choking them with one hand. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he does in the, in the game, right? He even does that in Capcom versus Marvel, right? He grabs the guy by the throat and picks him up by one hand and puts on his sunglasses. He probably does that for his Mori. Before they slap, that's a good idea. The slap off the sunglasses so that he just gets a close up of his, his Ouroboros eyes. Yeah, and stabs him through the chest with his hand. Freaking, um, Iraqi or, yeah, Iraqi style. Crim King Crimson style. Yeah, he has full control of Ouroboros. Ouroboros, Chris. In his eyes, yes. You know what? I'm going to accept this now. Instead of sitting here talking about Wesker. Oh, God. That's more ass than I expected. That was a lot more ass cheek than I expected. And it was right above my head.
Damn, look at that. Look at him, though. Look at my boy. My boy was fucking looking, looking all swag. He knows he's hot shit. He knows it. Is there any, um, text size? Well, let's make it big. Make it big so chat can read it and everything. Link account? Do I... Do I dare press this button? Do I dare press this button? Oh! So apparently if I log in... I will get... I will get items. I will get a charm. And I will also get an outfit. Surf Survivor. Um, for Dead by Daylight. I think I'm gonna do that later. Not right now. Because, God forbid, I do that right now. At, you know what? Do I even have one? Okay, let's see if I can even sign in. If I even... Like... Um... Because I don't even know if I have an email account with these guys. I probably don't. Sign in with Twitch. Um, I don't really want to sit here trying to figure this out on stream. Eyes, bud. Items for owning stuff. Yes. I'm just wondering if I... Uh, if I can get more stuff by linking my account. But we'll worry about that later. I will do that offline so you guys aren't sitting here waiting for me to play the game. Because you'll probably be bored. Enter your name before we get started. Welcome to your dream vacation. Oh, so dreamy. Of course, I'll be Mallow. NJ. I own all of the things, because I am Ouroboros. Hopefully I'm not in the way of anything. There's going to be a lot of reading in my... So apparently we're starting off with clown noises. Hey, why can't we date the clown? I mean, why isn't he one of the first killers? <laughs> why can't why can't we have him and his completely rotund belly in this game? I I swear, you behavior, you're you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. The fandom needs the clown. They need clown. Screw Wraith, Screw Trapper, Hot Clown Action. You will sell this game like hotcakes. Free Daddy Clown! Hashtag Free Daddy Clown! Scott, I hope for Wesker once in a while, scream out to the survivors, Hiding won't help you. And you're only postponing the inevitable. I would love if he did say that stuff. I bet yeah, he does. There has been some release of his lines. You will die for that. You wake up on the beach, soaking wet, salt water stinging the inside of your throat, as if you had nearly drowned. You want the click? Ah, there you are. Yeah, if he... If he says that when you, uh, he sees you, like, on chase, that would be hilarious. Water falls. Water falls from your mouth as you open in to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from, or a single fact about your life. The entity has wiped my brain. He's gone. The entity has shoved Twitter into my head, and I scrubbed my brain clean. We need that Resident Evil cheese. I I know, right? The Nemi cheese was good enough, was good, but we need the Wesker cheese now. 
What do you what do you what do you What you do now is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <laughs> Wow, really, you went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute? Or can I go on? Narrator? Is this... Is this secretly... Stanley Parable? Is the narrator getting on my case? Stanley used to like to press buttons and date killers. Because I can give you a minute. We got plenty of time. And this time, really. Yeah, yeah, we're dealing with a t that type of narrator. Oh, so it's the ocean speaking to me. Cause I didn't know Cthulhu was in this game. An eternity if you catch my drift. Whoa, not now, ocean. Sorry, Mallow, may I continue? So there's... there's... What? So there's... Two very strange, very powerful entities, and one of them is the actual ocean. Okay. I wonder what his attack animation is going to be. Is it him doing a martial art attack or the boring tentacle sweep? Well, he's supposed to be bounding towards you, so it's, it's a jump. He's doing a giant jump towards you. Much like, I'm guessing... The, uh, the Demogorgon, he's going to be trying to jump towards you like he does in the game. He does a, 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 that a few times. Okay, then, as I was... <laughs> as I was saying... You look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery... Lunch! A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All he can do is vomit. A stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, and other ick. What What did I vomit? Why, why am I vi vomiting bugs and worms? What's going on? What's happening? Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who's that incredibly hot looking guy over there? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well spoken voice in your head? That's. Th this is. This is Stanley Parable Narrator, who is now. He, he's now going to give me choices, and I'm going to make the exact opposite ones. However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. Ah, yes, I've been watching too much YouTube videos. What will you do? Close your eyes. Run. Dig up that face. Hmm. Bongo solo. Yes. It's beautiful. I'm creating music over here. Um, I got. I should stop procrastinating and actually make a decision, huh? Close your eyes, run, dig up that face. Bongo cat approves. Hmm. I'm curious about the morbid thing. I'm going to do the morbid thing and just want to see what happens because I'm very curious. Hello, Val and someone. Welcome to stream. How are you? Nice emojis. I like them. The wibble wobble faces. Are those... Are those foxy woxies? They look fo like a foxy woxy. That's good to hear, Valine. You brush the sand away from the half-buried human head embedded in the ground before you... Before you... Oh, look at that. I got coin. Hey, ain't that the symbol for the entity right there? There is no body, just his head. 
where your head at? As you pick it up, flakes of skin fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on a rotten tongue of this poor dead soul. Hmm. You know what I need to do every time the ocean starts speaking? I must change my voice. Let me find a good one here. Hold on. I know which one I want. I'm just trying to find it. No, not that one. No, not that one. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Where was it? I seen it earlier. Man. Nope, I didn't open the thing I shouldn't have. <laughs> Yo, he handed you a Bitcoin. He, well, he didn't hand me. I guess you, he mouthed me a Bitcoin. And that is a weird sentence to say. I used to have them it favorited, but then all my favorites kind of just disappeared one day. Hmm. Ah, you know what? I'll just use this one. Where is it? There it is. Getting your hands dirty, I see. I like that. You're a take charge type. You examine the gold coin briefly, happily distracted from what uh, was otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. Yo, why is this making anime noises and I'm, I'm getting the anime, like, zoom effect going on here? This is legitimately a s actual effect you can get off the internet. They took this from the internet. They did. I know that for a fact, because I have this! I have this effect! The sun beats down on you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, I you suppose. And so, you deposit it into a bank, and then save it for 50 years so that you may one day retire from that gold coin. Why, that's a nice coin you've got there. What if you were to spend it right now? Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Look, I'm gonna level with you here. That coin you found, it's mine. I dropped it yesterday, and I've been looking for it all over. Dropped it? In a dead person's mouth. Could you just, uh, give it back? No! It's my coin! Mine! Psh, be that way, then. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger on any longer your current situation, as you feel something soft bump into your foot. That's, that's, that is one heck of a ball that's coming from my face. Wilson! Whack! When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in, 
on the uh, on the sand there next to you. This really is stealing anime effects. This is another anime effect. The Huntress. Little help, little help, please. You turn around, and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the floor. She's, she's, kawaii. Mmm. Mm, yes. Mmm. Whee! That's, that's, that's the noise, I, I imagine. Oh, God. It's ten tons of fun right there. Oh, you can hook me any day, day Big Daddy. Oh, God. No. no. I hate it. Oh, God. I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about this imagery. I hate it. Please. 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 Somebody ba bail. Bail. Fail! Awooga! Awooga! Oh no, they're hot! Oh wow! That is relatable! Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Okay. Mind you. All right. All right. My man over here. My hu hunter. My bro here. My man over here looking like... Um... Ah, man. I messed up the joke because I couldn't think of it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. Here we go. Here's the joke, everybody. My man over here looking like Gonjiro Hama about to do a fight on me. But I'm I'm also I'm I'm heavily concerned about about the spirit and the huntress right now. Um yo the the thigh gap though. The 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 thigh gap on the huntress as well as the the booby cleavage, not to mention uh, the spirit and her her position is awfully awkward. And, and when I say awkward, I mean a holy fucking shit. Why is it that I, I, the the the, the whole the, the 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 bottom help? I need an adult, and I don't have one because because human is not watching right now. He he's away, far away. He ran away, ran away from this madness. Each of them oozes with undead energy. A magical aura reaching out and penetrating you. Yes, um... Two of which could do all sorts of different types of penetration, I would say. Not just, uh, with hooks. Via your eyes. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity. Fear. Desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed... Let's call them <laughs> killers. I don't know. Not to be not to be judgmental, but there's just this energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind as once that you're you're completely paralyzed. Uh. <clears throat> Hello. There are weird days, and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up the monstrous lineup at. Of well, literal monsters, sexy ass monsters though. What do you do? Do nothing. Say nothing. Say no thanks. Kick it back. Toss it back. <laughs> no thanks, bro. <laughs> I guess we're Leon Kennedy in this run. If I pick that one. Uh, how's the music volume, by the way? Okay, it's good. We're good. Fine to check to make sure. Um, should, should we toss it back, kick it back? You know what? We're gonna do a toss back. You know, that's the first time I've actually seen the Huntress's hair. I didn't know she was a brunette. You bend down and grab the ball. It's warm from sitting in the sand in this beautiful day. When you give the ball a toss, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in Huntress's hands. Of, co she, of course, she would be excited about me throwing something. 
damn it. I should have known. I should have known. It, it now dawns on me. Not bad, stranger. Not bad. Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips on it in her hand. You look her up and down and consider what it may, might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. I don't, I don't, I can't blush right now because I, I have the skeleton thing going on here. I, it's very hard for me to actually heat up bone through, through blood through my system. But if I had that ability, I would be, would be blushing at this moment. Maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. Somebody knows exactly what they're doing. And it knows exactly what demographic they're trying to appeal. Oh. I, I knew it. I knew there would be... I knew there would be... <laughs> references to the DVD community. Ugh. Try hard much? Like, totally try hard much. Blech. Even though she's Japanese and not Valley Girl. They're speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach of these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion into their private beach. Is this... Is this where... Is this where the, the, the killers go when not killing? When the entity doesn't call upon them? Is this where they reside? They're just like... They, they lead, lead a life of luxury and, uh, uh, that the, 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 the entity gives to them. Who's your bet, Mallow? I'm, I'm torn, okay? I'm torn between three characters. I, I don't want to date the, 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 um, the trapper. Sorry, trapper, but I'm, I love Jojo and everything, but I'm not into big muscular men. Just... Just, uh, just not that feel. Uh, the Huntress, she's an interesting character. I do like the idea of dating a giant muscular woman. Don't you dare read into that. But I'm also feeling the Wraith here because he's hot, but not that kind of hot. He's just muscular enough that it actually looks good on him. He's a little too muscular for my taste, just a little bit. Why are you throwing things? Why why are you doing why why you do? Why you do? Why you do? Why you do? But yes, he's just a just a just a smidgen too muscular, but I would still date him. And then there's the spirit who is your atypical like hot girl. Not liking Trapper. Hey, I didn't say I didn't like him. I just don't like him that way. Alone again, casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion on the private beach. Already read that. Did you be frightened? Worried? Excited? Did you refer to them as killers? Not to give too much away. I did refer to them. Sorry. But at the same time, damn. Damn, son, she thick. She thick. Oh, damn, I do need some hydration. Um, let me read this line first. But at the same time, damn, they are looking very appealing in their own way. And nobody so much has lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Not even Bill. Oh. I gotta do the thing. Don't be scared, Mallow. You were made for this. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head on over and see what happens next. I'm thinking that exact same thing, NJ. I thought maybe the narrator was the entity at first, but no, I'm pretty sure the ocean is the entity. Because 
I mean, the entity is the fog, right? It's inside the fog and inside the other realm. Is fog not water? I mean, fairly obvious. Anyways, let me go get a beverage so that I can continue to uh, talk without too many issues. <laughs> can we date the ocean? Yes. Man, that would be hilarious. I mean, if we're da dating the ocean, aka the um, entity, would would he, it, would it come out as Nia? <laughs> the and finally reveal to us his his human form or her human form or its human form. How dare you misgender the entity! There's another island. I wonder what that island's for. Is that is that the survivor island? And we're on the killer island? It seems like you're derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit. You know what? I'm not surprised Trapper is that angry. I mean... The guy literally killed a uh, hundred workers by trapping them inside a mine. And this was before the entity got a hold of him and started messing with him. He kind of was already messed up to begin with. In fact, this man literally tried to fight the entity. You see all these scars and the hooks in his flesh? That was from him trying to be defiant against the entity. And then the, the entity was like, here, I'm putting all these damn hooks inside of you because you pissed me off. So I'm not surprised he's acting this way. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's best to go with the, what the trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who's always seems to have fresh blood on their hand. And is also about the size of the Empire State Building. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Ah. Uh, uh, well, yours is because you're literally trapped in a game. Ho ho! Ho ho ho! Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than that silly game. I can't... I can't do a hot, thick Russian woman voice. It's just not possible for me. What's your deal? What brings you here? I mean, you're here to do more than distract from my total domination. <sighs> that was Wraith. That sign means that he's done with the game, too. He's done with the game, too. Why is the Wraith acting a little like the, uh, the, tr uh, the, the trickster right now? Either that or he saw a butterfly or something. Look, I don't care who, why this slack John moron is here. That's a little bit of a, a face. Oh, that's a little bit of an, 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 an attack. I, I'm, about, I'm about to be, be, be mashed. He's going, to, he's going to crush my head in between his, uh, his thighs like Sparrow's egg. I just want to know, can I kill him or not? You know, you know you can't. At least not yet. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Hey, Mallow, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There'll plenty be plenty of time for that soon enough. Man, I can't read anymore. I was reading just fine a little while ago. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned. Answer quickly and answer well. Uh-oh. Are we getting timed on this one? Are we going to pick who we get killed by? I think so. Um, I think you, that might be the thing. We were made for them, right? One of them. Maybe that's exactly what we were made for, is to die by their hand. Hmm. But which one? 
It's so hard to pick. If I were... Okay, so it's a toss-up for me. Between the Huntress and the Wraith. If I was going to pick one of the uh, one of these four, Spirit would be third place, Trapper would be fourth. Do I do I go with Mommy Milkers or do I go with do slightly suave douchey asshole? Does anybody got a coin? Well, she can hunt for food for you. I do. I do have... I do have, um... Let's see. I do have this ability to flip the coin here on Google. I mean, we could do this. How about heads? Because of uh, Huntress, it'll be uh, heads for her and tails for... Here we go. Tails. Um. I know I said Wraith was Tails. But for some reason, I feel like that flip didn't count. I don't know why. Mainly because I feel like I led uh, Goatman astray. I'm sorry, Goatman. Anyways. All right. Huntress, it's it's heads because of like the eerie head, the iridescent head, uh, for her hatchets, and tails for Wraith because maybe he's a bottom. Ha! Tails, uh, that's the third time in a row we got tails. So, and the uh, the first one didn't count, and the second one I was felt weird about. So the game has spoken. We are gonna go with Wraith. We're gonna try the date. The Bing Bong Boy. But be warned, yada yeah, yeah. This is a timed quiz. Uh, that means that I won't be able to look at chat. I'm going to have to look at these uh, these questions, and it'll be very important later. Very important. Bing Bong. Or oh, not important in any way whatsoever. Probably not. I can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? What kind of fucking qu first question is that? Um, very. I'd say I'm very attractive. That's what you think very attractive is compared to <clears throat> this. The, m the muscles that have been passed down the Armstrong family for generations. Hello, Hikikomori. How am I? Uh, and what the ever-loving hell is this? Welcome to DVD Dating Simulator. And I'm not joking when I say that. DVD Behavior decided to uh, give the thirsty fans what they wanted. Trapper flexes his muscles. Wait. Okay, I read that wrong. Trap reflexes and his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his veins. He really is a JoJo character. Thanks, I hate it. I know, right? I hate it too. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, Invisibility, of course. Because I'm totally not trying to, you know, get on this guy's good side or anything. <sighs> Same, although sometimes I think I already am. What was the best subject in school? Your best subject. Uh, um, skipping class. <laughs> uh, uh, invisibility, let me be alone. Why, why can't we date Wesker? Because this isn't Resident Evil. I mean, he's coming to DVD, but he's originally a, 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 a uh, Resident Evil character, so we need a res uh, we need a Wesker dating simulator. If I had ever gone to school, I'm sure I would have done great in skipping class. I prefer skipping over walking almost always. 
Oh. Yeah, I get it. Funny joke. What's your favorite animal? Um. Um. What's up, Mooslid? That's a new one. Dog? You'd look absolutely adorable in a little puppy mask. Oh, oh god. She's showing a lot of ass cheek in that. What's your favorite color? Uh. Three day old corpse? Um. Blue. I like blue. Da ba di ba ba die! Blue isn't good for productivity. It makes people want to be lazy. What's your dream job? Uh, astronaut, nightclubber, uh, nightclub promoter, I guess. Definitely nightclub promoter. Everyone go groans, and let's be honest, they're right to do so. <laughs> Luring folks into the dark? Not just anyone can do that. Best flavor of ice cream. Uh, horse flesh. Uh, yeah, yeah, vanilla. My favorite flavor is pain. Same. Same here. Mmm. Mine is vanilla. World with pain. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course the Wraith would like vanilla. Look at him. He's already swirling with vanilla. Wow. Mint. Mmm. For the help heaping helping a pain. Cat. I th I think mint dip is the greatest flavor ever conceived myself. Hey, look at that, Hikikomori. The, the narrator's on your side. But enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on a second. That reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Kick mint chip. We're teaching lessons now, narrator. You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Uh, mint chip, I guess. Best flavor is mint chip. So, mm -hmm. yep. So obedient. I think you're just gonna do... I, I think you're gonna do just fine. Of course, I only did that now to get on the narrator's good side, and when I have to stab him in the back, it's gonna be even more juicy. Anywho, now that you know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them before we brutally murder me. I'm trapped. I'm pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I mean, he's actually not wrong. He he used to, his father owned that mill and everything, so he is pretty rich. Also, these voices are starting to kill me, so I'm going to start doing these voices a little less over, over exaggerated. Stretch, pet, drink. Yeah. Lerp. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Uh, I think the Wraith deserves hats now. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and loathe big, dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. Konnichiwa. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time, but the things I do I really hate, you know? Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering, and society is carefully calculated lie. To keep everyone subservient and those in power. It's better to choose to just not take part. Um, I don't really actually know too much about the history of the Wraith, other than, you know, she was brutally murdered by her father. Um, and she was, uh, kind of going into 
college and all that jazz. Why my trapper looking like he came out of JoJo? Ha! Ah, that's a, I made that calculated observation earlier too. <laughs> Jeez, it's like she is downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. Well, come to think of it, if it wasn't for society and the uh, standard of living when it comes to money, she wouldn't have died in the first place because her dad wouldn't have gone crazy from the debt and murdered her. So I guess that might be the... I can see where her train of thought leads down. We live in a society. Oh no, wait, I'm remembering Spirit's story now. And that's almost exactly what happened. See what I mean? That's exactly what I just explained. Society is kind of garbage right now. You, you ain't kidding. Hi, I'm the Huntress. Don't let those, these bummers get you down. There's a lot of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of... Love. Huntress is coming on to me. Are you coming on to me? What? Well, and there it is. You know what I mean? Grow up. Grow a body. I mean, she is. A, she's literally a ghost. Mummy. <laughs> Are you my mummy? I've explained this. A th I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not not nice. I love it. Only sometimes. Ew, really, that's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Don't speak for me. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. I've kind of lost track of what the fudge is going on right now. For the first time ever, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on. Otherwise, they'll do this all day. Yeah, he really does have blood on his hands. I mean, like I said, he murdered over 100 people in the mine. Besides, uh, if I know, whoops. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. Playing World of Horror now. Just got the Eldritch Amulet, Compass, and Hammer. Playing the Yakuza guy. Careful you don't run into the, the dude that will make you bleed and kill you. I ran into him twice, and he killed me twice. You're done playing. Let's do something else instead. Wow, for once, I actually agree with this meathead. I saw we got my yacht. I say we got... I can't... I'm, I'm trying so hard to read these lines in different voices that I keep misreading the lines. There's always a sacrifice, Max. There's always a sacrifice. Brain mush moments. And there are going to be plenty of them with this game. If I have to keep go bouncing around voices... I'm only gonna give. I'm only gonna give the ocean a certain voice, and I'm giving the wraith a, a certain voice because I am going to be dating him right now. It's a massive boat docked nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happy. And meatheads like me that has no brain. No, I hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. The way it's flaunted needlessly and the cruelty of it engenders. What about hanging out by the pool? Sorry, I forgot to do his voice. Yeah, I know. Oh, 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 oh what is that face? I find the water calming. Simple, beautiful. Oh, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you all serious? There's perfectly good lounge to chill out right here. 
I'm tired, and besides, I hate being in the sun. Why she's got that massive hat. The gigantum hat. Where do you want to go? I want to go... Fuck that. Fuck me head over here. Um, Which one's the ocean? This is a slightly confusing. Okay, this must be the volleyball. This must be the lounge. Okay, water. I'll be down for a dip in the pool. Wraith is like, so happy about that. He really is just an innocent dude that ended up getting um, wrecked by the entity. Whoa, the pool? You actually want to go to the pool? Oh, <laughs> that face. I, uh, well, I mean, sure, why not? I've got good ideas. What's wrong with my ideas? The pool is great. Everyone knows that. All over the world, if people agree and, on one thing, it's that pools are great. Look, we've got a whole ocean right here and still put it in a pool because pools are just, you know, great. It's a real special treat. My man's got the JoJo type shading. I know! I was. That's why I was like laughing. I love that face. The anime. The anime is so strong in this. And you thought it was bad when he stayed quiet. Oh. Hi, Dwight and Claudette. Claudette's boobs looking a little perky today, wouldn't you say? You know what? It's not... It's not wrong for Dwight to be here because I remember Dwight has a costume that's very beach-esque in style. Hold on! For just one moment! This is Dwight and Claudette, our acti activities coordinators. I understand Dwight because he was a, uh, if I remember rightly, he was a um, assistant manager. So he's used to doing uh, the coordination thing. But Claudette? I guess she's smart and all. Also, this fucking button. Fucking placement, man. I know what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You're showing a side boob. Why would, why, why would her shirt be like that unless the, the, the shirt was so tight that her chest was about to explode out of her clothing? Whom's the fuck be these weird people? The survivors. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. Because they would die otherwise. They're the only help remaining on the island. What happened to the other survivors? This place we call Murderer's Island. Huge dramatic musical flourish. That was a musical flourish? What the hell was that noise? Yeah, she's also... It's also, yeah. A crop top that only goes up two inches. Who does that? None of the others survived. Ahem. Survived the interview process, I mean. We're going to die. Hence why we all shall therefore after refer to them as survivors with a capital S. These two have worked here a long time. For so very long. I don't actually know how long it's been. Sorry. Anyway, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that is starting to give me the creep. Ah! We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to present you with our, your options whenever possible. And don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. Survivor privilege very much so. So is the beach like a new DBD map? That would be great! Oh my god! Why can't- why- Give us a beach ma survivor map with an ocean. Please, DBD, you must. You have to. Excuse me. I do what I want. We don't have much autonomy around here. Autonomy. At least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you can do is help us get off this island. Uh, I do. Why? 
Yes, pardon me. Please, follow us. Hey, uh, narrator? Yes, something I can help you with. These two, Lada and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I try be trying to escape? Escape them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. It seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island, though. What's wrong with his hand? I don't know. I noticed it, too. I noticed how weird and, like, snapped his, his wrist was. Oh, right. That. Yes. That's true. He was. But he just meant that he wants to get off the other vacation island getaway. Get to the other one. Right over there. Right there. A couple of miles south of here. It has so much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits. Quite exclusive. Where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Like, uh, Myers and, um, Pinhead and Pyramid Head. All those friends. Yes. Firm handshake. Doesn't quite have the same charm as this island has, though. Trust me. You wouldn't want to go there. With all the money comes a lot of restriction. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter. Mostly. When I agree with them. Not like the other island, though. So, what'll it be? There we go. Just wanted to make noises. There we go. We get our Wraithy boy. Wraith moves ahead to the pool at the pace of that could almost be considered jaunty. If a creature so lanky they appear to be made entirely of elbows and ankles could just be jaunty. Cool. Um, what's going on with Wraith's face? <laughs> Is that a smile? Is that what a smile looks like when he does it? Yeah, I've never seen the Wraith smile. This is the first time. My god. It's, it's beautiful. Also, not to mention, he had sparklies. I think he's part of the Armstrong family. What can I say? Being enveloped by... Enve enveloped? I just said enveloped. Mm. Being enveloped by the water is comforting. It's quite... It's quiet. It's ominous and you... You know... Wraith looks back over each shoulder to make sure that no one besides you is within earshot. The fire can't get me. Supernova stuff here, as usual. It's great. It's Claudette and Dwight. What do these two want? Oh, great. I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, that the, the reason he's all disfigured is because he was in a fire. He He burned a bunch of people to death. Man, if I didn't know this actual lore, I would be so lost right now. Since everyone at the pool, we figured we'd bring over some of our most popular pool accessories. What do you mean everybody's at the pool? I think only me and Mr. Uh, Lanky Elbows over here are freaking at the pool. Mallow, which of these particular interesting is interesting to you? Foam noodles, inflatable lounger, basketball hoop, goggles, and snorkel. Hmm. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, the basketball hoop. Because who doesn't like to play basketball in the pool? That's quite a nice hoop. Is it regulation size? It's only five feet high and you know it, dork. I, okay, no, everybody else is here. Never mind. I always obey the pool rules, safety's rules, rules, safety rules. Words are hard. When your brain don't work good and your your uh, your coding is wrong, you're, you you make make problems for yourself by reading words wrong. Goggles and stork for me. I like the idea of shooting hoops, even though I'm not very good at shooting hoops. I always obey pool safety rules, and sadly, that means no glass or sharp objects. Can't bring my axe with me. Yes. 
Yes, just put the axe down, sweetheart. Just put it down. Huntress spins a basketball on her finger like some sort of Siberian globetrotter. How are you doing that? So I have to get my target practice in other ways. He's showing me her ass again. You ready to go one on one with me? At basketball? You're mine out of the gutter, Mallow. No, that's what I was thinking. One on one at basketball. And that may that is terrifying to me because Miss Huntress can throw anything at the best possible way. Even though it's just a game, all the posting up against Huntress is getting you hot and bothered. Wait, did I accidentally do a thing? Oh no. I'm ac I accidentally uh, am now liking the Huntress here. Like, you know, I wanted to do I want to get Wraith points, not Huntress points. When your brain don't work like it used to before. But sweetheart, my brain never worked to begin with. I was always slightly defective. Um, you better cool off. Time for a cannonball? Cannonball! You ditch the ball and start sprinting for the pool. Mmm, cannonball time? And now the Huntress is leaping clean over your head, hurling herself into the pool. When she lands, her massive body causes a huge wake that damn near empties out the entire pool. You realize there are other guests at this resort, right? Some who like having water left in the pool? You don't care. I do care. I didn't think that was going to happen. For a waking nightmare, you could almost believe that you're starting to relax a bit and forget about how much you can't remember. It's as if the sun's very rays have a calming effect on you. Your body tranquilized by the soft light from overhead, coupled with a cool breeze rolling in from the sea. I'm really going to die because there was a corpse in the freaking water. And you're not alone. I feel recharged by the gentle warmth of the ocean's caress. If it was a little too warm, that might have been my fault. Get the fuck out of here. Also, this pool, this is a pool, not an ocean. Okay, everyone, just let him finish. Thanks, Mallow. I know this probably doesn't seem like me, but... Would anyone want to play a game of Marco Polo? <laughs> no, that actually legitimately seems like the perfect game for freaking Wraith. She heavy. She thick! Boy, she thick! I prefer cold shower, but... I prefer cold showers, but hot showers. Mm, I hate cold showers. I hate the cold in general. Ooh, Marco Polo fun. Yes, I love games. Of course, the Huntress would be the playful type. Let's not... But let's also forget that the Huntress's mentality would be that of a like an eight-year-old, if not low, younger, because she, her mother died when she was very young. I'll go first. Someone blindfold me. Of course, Trapper has a blindfold ready to go. And he's... He, he approaches... As if he had it in his hands before you even spoke. Ugh. Did he just wink? And did you just bite your lip? And did his face just go all dark as though he's about to murder my ass? Everybody kind of looking a little disgusted, though. Cold water, as in pools and hot showers. Ah! Yo, I just got The Rock as a follower in the world of horror. Nice! I don't even know who The Rock is. Do you mean the, the Dwayne Johnson, The Rock? Do you smell what The Rock is slaying? Good thing they're getting rain in because I sure seemed like you were about to be uh, there. You were about to act up. Mini games consist of two parts. On top, a pointer of which rotates you in a clockwise direction. And the bottom, a target you're going to be pointed at. Sometimes the target is immediately visible. Sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. Press spacebar to stop the pointer while over the target to win. Fail to land on the target and you will lose. To achieve a perfectly success, land on the start of the target area, but not at the end. Okay. 
Okay, ready to play? Or would you like me to repeat that? No, I think I got it. Ready. Away we go. Time to feel around. Go get him, tiger. Um, almost. Not bad. Oh, perfect. Oh, a little bit. Not bad. Oh, God. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, God, it's so fast. Ooh, nice. Perfect. That was pretty good, Mallow. I got an achievement. Casual minigamer. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Don't lie. Just ignore him. That, that little lip face. Rotation. You've just been thrown a very weird situation in, uh... You held your own. I respect that. That was a good game. I say we celebrate. By throwing this waiter whose name I forgot into the water. Defend Dwight. Uh... I don't like the trapper, so... Trial run? I just got an achievement called Trial Run. What the hell? Was it for doing this or was it because I was waiting too long? You're gonna hit hard, but you're gonna be slow as balls. Defend. I'm gonna defend Dwight because I kind of think Dwight is a Nancy boy and needs defending. Dwight. Yeah, his name is Dwight. Hey, knock it off, Trapper. You're no fun. Thank you, Mallow. I won't forget this. Well, I mean, I might. Every time I think too deeply, I seem to forget very specific details in my life beyond the basics of who I am as a person. That That's the, um... that That's the, uh... The power of the entity working. Yeah, that... that, that yep, I'm a survivor. That's what, why my brain's all fudged up, because I'm a survivor, and I've been thrown onto the, uh, onto this beat. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to think that this is where everybody goes when we're not in there doing their survival thing. That was still cool of you to stick up for me. I'm no expert, even though as an omnipotent narrator, I probably should be. But I think that means it's time for the next activity. Seems like the next act of dodge. Uh, act, uh, mm -hmm, uh, yes, mm -hmm, words. Yeah, language. Mm, good language. That was excellent language. Language is hard. Seems like the next activity is real time. How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag. You know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious, fantastic epic like you'd find on the cable. Hey, uh, friend, you're assuming a lot of me. I mean, a lot. I wasn't thinking that. I was, I, I was thinking, yes, that's very tropical in theme. Oh no! Doom went up to a hundred. That well, that ends. That's why uh, sometimes you gotta rush through the game because Doom is always there to catch up on you. Dwight and Claudette, I'll show you to your seat. But there's a very limited seating directly around you. And oh, great, terrific! It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to the certain other people, either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trickster. Trickster is here, too?! Son, why can't we date the Trickster? Son, why isn't he in the game? Why? Why can we only have four? There he is! I was, I was hoping he would be here. The femiest of femboys, the twinkie, twink, twink, the twinkle star. Come on. The boy was made to be a sausage fest. Who dat? Trickster is another killer from the game. He is literally a K-pop star. Also, he is one of the most evil ones in the game. 
Oh, yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise. Yeah, well, they don't call him expected sir expect expected this word right here you see this you see what this is written here i hate this i hate this whatever this is this this is not funny this makes my soul die a little bit on the inside i'm sorry even i get nervous around crowds of killers who my whole shit gets a little flustered mm, mm. My man looks like Scout T Fortress 2, but purple. Hey! Oh, he's got... He doesn't even have a real bat. I just noticed it's inflatable. It, you know what? It's funny. He does look like the, the Scout of T of Fortress 2. Hey, I'm gonna bonk you. I'm gonna headbutt you. Hey, you're like a car cash in slow motion. Hey there, you're looking good, man. I'll be a good... And we literally can't let hunters and trappers sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. Look at this. We can't even fit everyone on screen at the same time. You probably think it was an error, but it's not. It was completely intentional. This game's meta. The game is being so goddamn meta right now. Let that be lessened. Let that be lessened to you. Let this be a lesson for you. <laughs> Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Oh, we we going we going real hard into the meta DVD humor over here. How yeah? How come Scout gets to be in front of Wraith? Because if he's if he's anything like Scout, basically. He's going to get in front of everybody else. That's just how Scout works. Hi, Drake! Got that? Okay. Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side. The rest of them sit opposite you. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends of their enormous, sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy it. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you were serving. What are we eating? It's meat. Had to add a little bit of effect for that one. Seasoned, seasoned with specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't in, in divulge. Is it 12 herbs and spices? My favorite. Meat is good. Meat is murder. Which you know, consider what you've been up, what you've been up to, where you get to get judgy now. I'm just, I'm just sharing fat. And you need to murder something to eat its meat, so that's, like, technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. <laughs> okay, enough yapping, let's eat! Hey Mallow, you thinking what I'm thinking? It's gonna be a person on the spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen many pigs wearing palm tree buttons down, button down prints, you know. When you look closely at the spit, you spot that definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. Uh, I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours. And we do literally anything on this island. Or everything. Wow. Actually, there's one thing they're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meat. Wow, he's right for a change. Because I am the one with my broad... Because I, I am with my broad axe. It's a perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. 
first. Who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like you're all completely different from historical eras. Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. It's at least clean when it's uh the meat is cooked, no blood. I mean there's there's blood on the cleaver, and that cleaver is literally made from fucking pieces of metal randomly strewn across the ground. Uh, you two and your ridiculous bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obs. Again. Zoomer speak. Obviously, she's a zoomer. Quan? The hell it is! Oh god, that is the most terrifying image thus far in this game. I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell, if you'd like. Um, please stop, please. I hate when we fight, or talk, or even when we look at each other in the eye. I can do it. I have the skull of Azra Azeroth. Great. Instead of slicing it up, I can club it to second death. I was gonna say, if he's he has a club, he literally can't cut anything apart. You know, it's starting to look like Wraith was the best choice because Wraith is the most sensible one here. Hey, Mallow, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix. Oh God, it's Felix! Oh God, we're eating Felix. Uh huh. I guess he's not a pretty boy anymore. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No, no hyper uh, hyper bully. They all once argued over who had the most effective weapons for 72 hours straight. Oh my god. Stop being DBD community. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they're done, they all take even longer cleaning their weapons. Ah. All while explaining the value on maintaining your tools. Despite being a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason, they're always terrified of tetanus. Hey, uh, why don't I... Hey, why don't you let me do the carving up of the dinner? Splendid idea. We'd hate for you to get cold. He hated when he got it. He hated when it got cold. Here's a machete, freshly sharpened. Minigames consist of two parts. On top of a pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. Oh god, here we go again. Sometimes the target is immediately invisible, and sometimes it's hidden. Press the spacebar. Stop the pointer. Yada 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 daska. It's the same exact thing. Ready? Here we go. Slice. Aha! Poifix. Poifix. Oh, not quite. Dang it. Ah! Uh. Oh, uh, I wanted to get all poi fixed. That was pretty good. I'd like to see what you could do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. Dinner is finally served. For real. Sounds especially coming from a mask killers while they eat, which involves lifting their masks and shoving food up behind it. Are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to really be embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell, I mean. Ah, here we go. It's rotisserie. Come on, we're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claude and Dwight aren't the only ones who have been working their asses off to make this night perfect. At least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they were tried to mash it and the stuff through it. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Mallow. Number two is known in number two. That's that. It took me a second before she even said it. 
it popped into my brain. I'm like, oh, right. One last thing to think about in the afterlife. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. You might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. Do you see how deep this cut in my abdomen is? I don't think I'm digesting tracks to connect anymore. Between the food and behavior of the group, this might be the worst meal in history. But even worse is they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. What do you want to tell them? Uh, this is gross. I'm sorry. Look at that seagull. Uh... Mm. I'm gonna eat sand. I hate sand. It's all coarse and rough and gets everywhere. I'm debating on I'm sorry or look at that seagull. Seagull. Wow, you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, anyways. What were we talking about? Lame Mr. Rex. Yeah, that's right, Mallow. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did, poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal. And you've been standing in the sun. But the seagull! Boy! Uh-oh, you just made a lot of good po They just made- he just made a lot of good points. I swear! You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. Maybe you need to eat to survive here? Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait. You haven't eaten. So you can't be poisoned. Hmm. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Oh, hey, it's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator to the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about that characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you, not unless you follow the right path. Or at least, a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting scenes over and having a fast forward back to where you were, am I right? Well, this place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned from you answered the most important if once you've answered the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Okay, Hikikimori. I'm about not about I'm about to um after we finish the first night of this game, I think I'm gonna pause this game for now and we're gonna be going to bug snacks afterward. Vague, mysterious. I gotta get up give it up to the ocean character. That's some quality early game storytelling. Why is this fucking game so goddamn meta? Wow. Wow. Holy night. Holy balls. Why is it so meta? <clears throat> Hold on, I'm back. One more piece of advice. You've made many choices by now. Some of them I like. Some of them I did not. It's in your best interest to make more choices that I like.
You wake up to find Wraith holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. Oh, Wraith, you, you fucking beautiful bastard, you. Look at him. Look at him. Just, just look at him. Look at all these hearts. I think the Wraith... The, I think we might have swabbed the Wraith a little bit. Now that you're finally alone, Wraith looks at you eagerly. I don't care if the seagull actually waved at you, but I understand the feeling of looking at it, you from so far away and wanting to reach you. What? Wait, excuse me, are you coming on to me for real Z's this time? But did it wave at you? This mother fudger actually fell for that. He's a himbo. He is 100% a himbo. He's more himbo than the trapper is, and I don't know how that's possible. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be truthful to him. I'm gonna. I'm. I. I think that's the best way to go. I'm just gonna be like, no, man. I. I was just trying to bail out on that conversation. I made it up. Oh well. Um. Thanks for being honest with me. Wraith. The rainbow. Q. That is the perfect name for him. Um, how do I say this? It's just, honesty is important to me. I've been burned too many times. Da 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 da! Yeah! Something about the word burned makes the wraith look away. Oh, the tears, though! Far away. Eyes brimming with tears, and yet, at the same time, dead. I, underst I understand. Wraith looks back at you with those sad eyes, wanting so badly to believe you. She looks down at the ground. I have something very important to tell you. It's about something very special to me. It's not something I tell everyone, but you know how important honesty is to me. I can't expect that from you if I'm not honest in return. Oh great, I bet he's got crabs. Game? Narrator? What? The absolute ball balls. What? It's about my special bell. What? What? Are we talking about his bell? Or are we talking about his bell? Yeah, we're talking about his bell. It belonged to my father. He gave it to me before he, um... Before he and my mother, well, they had to go away. If I was ever in danger, I was supposed to ring this bell. It, it didn't really work. But it's all I have for my family with me. Of my family with me. Wow. 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 Wraith, thank you for telling me. Here, hold it. Whoa. Wraith just gave you his bell? Down the alarm! What are you gonna do with this thing? Hold the bell delicately. I'm gonna hold it delicately. I'm not gonna bing bong in front of him. And that, that, he's allowed me to hold his bell. He's not allowed me to play with it yet. Mm. Mm. You caress the bell, running your fingers over its rusty. Is that dried blood? Why are you touching this thing? Thank you for. Sharing this important part of yourself. <laughs> you hand the bell back. Wraith is looking out wistfully at the ocean. The ocean is beautiful. It's not real. None of this is. Wraith looks at you more intensely than ever. I don't know if you're ready to hear the truth. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and you quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up in this strange island. Of course, it's these two. We're doing an activity without them! Only to find it's Dwight and Claudette sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, which they're waving in the air above their heads. Are they gonna drop a pallet on my head? It's very important that we stick to the itinerary! You attend each event as scheduled! Playing sick for cute flirt points was not a part of the evening's activities. 
that's strictly slotted in for after campfire story time. At this rate, we'll be late. Playing sick? No, I was... No time for excuses. Good, it, Dwight. Go hide in a locker where you belong. Well, there it is. There is, but that's scheduled for after what comes after the flirting. Go, 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 go! Wait, what? This game's so meta. Once everyone has gathered at the fire pit, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. We're not going to blame anyone in particular, but someone, and we're not going to say who, so don't worry, you, hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means that you're behind on time for evening activities. And we'll only have time for one person to share their special spooky nighttime story. Just one story? But story time is my favorite activity. This is a narrative-heavy experience. Of course this, the Wraith would be into the, the, the narrative. You're telling us that only one person gets to share? How will we decide who? Oh great, we have to decide as a group? That never goes well. Howard did this. Whoever did this, step out now. Step up now. Why did I say out? I don't even know why I said out. Step up now. I swear I won't be angry. I'll merely chop your head clean off. No fuss, no muss. Voice trembling, you realize this is probably it for you, but you embrace your fate. Sorry, everyone. I think they're talking about me. To be honest, I still don't understand how the whole, whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out. Been there before, even though it's taking some pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true. Of course, Wraith would be happy that the pressure has been taken off of him. Wraith is always under pressure in his games. Is it really? Is it really fair to pick on the newbie? Seriously, has anything ever been ever happened on schedule, even once? Damn it, Donald. You try to flex your authority gimmick on one more time, so help me. I'll snap your head off as a quick, and then I'll drown you in this blood. This voice is killing me. Cynthia, Fuss and Muss are back on. You two now have a hack and slash and slice. We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody named any names. Who even knows any names? Not us. I renounce my name. Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. <laughs> and then now the name is nobody. But we still gotta get started on story time, so... Mallow, who do you think we should go? Aw, oh, damn it. That's a name. Please, pick somebody quickly so this tropical vacation doesn't turn into a bloodbath. Wraith! I choose you, Wraith. Wraith wants... The dramatic. He seems like the perfect one to do a story. Whoa, whoa. This entire experience is being carefully crafted to avoid an IP infringement lawsuit. That's why you only use characters that you uh, didn't have um, licenses for. Let's be careful with the catchphrases, well, yeah? I'm not really one for scary stories. Life is scary enough as it is. You literally carry around a skull and a spine as a, your little prop. As the other killers laugh, Wraith holds up his skull and gazes into its hollow, dark eye sockets. If you're looking for something Shakespearean in this story, look elsewhere. This is a tale of madness, of staring at the soul of death and never returning. Once upon a time, a young man worked at a junkyard. A man was quiet and kept to himself just wanted to avoid trouble. While the boss dealt with clients, the young man operated the crusher, turning old cars into cubes of twisted metal. One day, right before crushing a car, he noticed something. Blood. Drip, drip, dripping. From the trunk. He opened it and found a frightened stranger bound and gagged. The young man reeled. Was he about to accidentally murder this stranger? How could this have happened? He freed the stranger who ran off. Into the waiting arms of the boss, the owner of the junkyard. 
Before his shaken employee could tell him about the mistake they were nearly made, the boss took out a knife and swiftly split the stranger's throat. The young man fell to his knees, unable to comprehend what was happening. As he stared at the ground, too shocked to cry, the boss approached him. What did you do? He asked the boss. I did your job for you. What do you mean? That's not my job. My job is to crush the cars. Bald slot out a miserable scoff. His face contorting in an evil disdain for the pathetic wretch in front of him. Why do you think you were crushing these cars to save space? Who do you think my clients are? I, I don't know, mumbled the young man. Yes, you do, screamed the boss. Deep down, you've always known what was happening here. You just didn't know, want to admit it to yourself. Your hands aren't clean. My clients give me money and take care of their problems. Eliminate their witnesses. Tie up their loose ends. Or actually, you do. No, young man whispered as the boss towered above him. Yes, you're nothing more than an executioner, and you've reaped hundreds of souls. The young man's body shook with soft spasms as he tried to stop crying. It was when the boss started laughing that it happened. Something in the young man came. He stood up, now taller than the boss. A faint glimmer of fear overtook the snarl in the old man's face. The young man's face was empty. Empty as he had grabbed the boss's throat and dragged him to the car in the crusher. Empty as he picked up the boss and stuffed him inside. Empty as he slammed the trunk down on him. Its stupid fat head sticking out, begging for mercy. Empty as he started the machine, staring at the boss and then sniveling, crying, wet face. Empty as he grabbed the boss's head, dug his fingers in, further piercing the skin. Empty as he squeezed old. Empty as he heard the bones popping and snapping. But when the boss's head still attached to the spine pulled cleanly out of its disgusting sack of a body he smiled. Wraith stared back into the eyes of the sockets of his skull. It doesn't matter how good you are, how innocent, how kind, how full of love you once were. When you look into the eyes of evil, you will surely go mad. An awkward silence falls upon the room. Until... Offer an emphasis of praise. Make a joke. Ask about the story. That poor young man. I wonder what happened to him. Oh. Yeah, uh... We may never know. Well, wherever he is, I hope he's okay. I can't tell, but I, I think the Wraith just smiled. Sorry, it's just weird to see him doing that. On that note, everyone decides it's time to take a break and split up for a little bit so they can call it and have a moment alone before bed. Everyone leaves, and you're alone by the fire. The only thing you hear is an ocean slowly lapping against the shore. This is nice. A true moment of peace and tranquility that lasts all of seven seconds before the trickster shows up. God fucking dang it, trickster. And he's blaring his latest song. Oh, it's this song. <laughs> hey, baby, you look lonely. Mind if I join you? He doesn't wait for an answer. You know, I've been hearing from these guppies all day. But I want to hear something from the big fish like me. Something special those in charge of this island don't want you to hear. I am the ultimate catch on this island. The only lobster in Ocean of Sardines. Of course he's so... The trickster would be just so goddamn full of himself that he, his head is literally coming out of his mouth. That's how far his head stuck up his arse. No one can give you that what I can. And you just have to find me. Come find me, baby. Trickster leaves. You're a bit confused about what makes it so his cryptid brain. Would you like to words now? You're a bit confused about what to make of his cryptic clues, but you aren't going to get any uh, time to yourself to think about them just yet. 
the wraith. Wraith. Hey, I'm probably not making a great impression because, uh, I guess that's not really my thing. I just know that if you got to know me, then, I mean, look, the others aren't around. I really hate the fire pit. I just kind of hate fire in general. Maybe we could go back to the pool? And, like, you know, whatever. I don't know. Whatever, you know. A dip in the pool with the wraith? You've come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him. An offer like that. Just don't forget our little talk. I'm so confused what could be the right way and not. You and your storyteller friend slip into the water. It's just the right temperature for an evening dip. Plus, if some jealous shark comes along and manages to jump from the ocean into the pool, you're also pretty sure your killer companion could handle it. Hey, uh, do you, do you remember my story? You mean the one you just told, like, a minute ago? Yeah. Um, yes? Do you, I mean, like what you think of, um, of the young man in the story? Do you think he's weird? He's weird. I would forgive him. I would forgive him. What happened to him would make anyone snap. And who knows what happened in the past to lead him to that point. He was just trying to be good. No, so that's all he wanted was to be good. Well, that makes sense. Um, did the young man remind you of anyone? Yes and no. I think that's what makes it such a great story. It's unique and surprising, but relatable and familiar. I think we know someone like that young man. I think we all have a little one of us in, of him inside us. Wraith giggles. Not in a gross way, like you're thinking, but a very silly one. I assume he's imagining a little tiny version of himself dancing in his own belly because that's just who he is. Oh! Hey, new bots. That's a new, um, that's a new bot wor uh, sort of thing. Um, I've not seen that one before, but be purge. Yeah, there we go. Be purge. You notice the temperature has dropped significantly. Is it cold in the water, or is it just me? I feel like my toes are turning into ice cubes. Wraith seizes up and squeezes his eyes shut. Please, uh, I can't be around any cube talk. Not since I'm, um, heard that story from somebody else a long time ago. A story you just told us two minutes ago. Exactly. The one that hasn't, wasn't about me, for sure. Definitely not. Usually, we'd be nervous that we were about to make things awkward when we barge in, but obviously, we couldn't handle hold a candle to whatever was happening here tonight. Either way, it's time for bed. For you, but not us. After you go to sleep, that's when not we party. After spending all day cooped up with these tight little safari-themed resort uniforms, you just know that these two raged late into the night. But you're not here to party with them. You got your own repressed relationships to tend to. You head over to the campfire. The heat is comforting in this chilly night. Looking into the crackling embers, you think about Wraith's story about the young man who found out he was part of a sinister plot. What do you know about the current situation? Is it something that will be terrifying you? Something that will make you snap? What if you look into his eyes, uh, the eyes of evil? And what if you like it? Before you can dwell too much on your fate, Claude and Dwight arrive, their own familiar creepy smile stretching from ear to ear. It's a bit menacing to see a smile like that lit by a firelight. That's because the survivors are just as scary as the killers in, in DVD. We must apologize for the accommodations. We aren't prepared for another guest, but we're going to make you comfortable or die trying. They hand over a pillow and blanket and welcome you to snuggle up by the fire. Perhaps some music will put you at ease. Just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Our other guests aren't the types that'll want to rob you of their beauty sleep. Want to rob? 
Mini games. Oh no. The rotation again. Oh god. The, I have to play a mini game asleep. There's a sleeping mini game. Whatever the point stops, he's, that's your result. Suppose if he doesn't stop where you want it to. That's a bit like losing, but no one has to know if you don't tell them. Ready to play? Let's let's play. Ready? Here we go. As you relax and look into the fire, the radio begins to fuzz and flicker. You examine it and you decide that you might adjust the dial and fix it. Um. Hmm. Oh, whoops! I tried to use the wrong button. Oh wow! I'm an idiot. Let's see what's on this station. Is there more? Let's see what's on this station. That's a Legion! Legion soundtrack, nice! 100? See what's on this station. I don't know this one. Is this from something? I haven't the faintest idea. This is a map-specific song, isn't it? I'm not sure where, which map this is, but I'm pretty sure it's from a certain map. Oops. That's the Plague's theme. What is happening in this song? Scary, not scary music that we have to wait for every single time I pick a new station. It's the fucking clown! Why is it so much quieter than all the other songs? What the hell? What the fuck is this? But all of us on the team, we have our own stories we have to tell. And one of those stories that we've been wanting to tell for a long time is the story of this fantasy of being a villain in a horror movie. Uh, way back when, a decade or so ago, people were telling us uh, horror doesn't sell. I mean, unless you're like the big ones, like Silent Hill or Resident Evil. Trying to turn it up! But really, don't even try. So we, uh, we tried. We didn't give up. We, we released one as a comedic twist on this called Naughty Bear. If you don't know Naughty Bear, go check it out. It's magical. A little later on, though, we, uh, we had one of our designers come up with a little prototype. A very simple hide-and-seek thing with someone trying to hide and do a thing and someone else trying to catch them and finish the game. And it was so good. It was pure thumb candy. And we figured that by slapping on that skin of the, the 70s, 80s horror slasher flick, we were onto something remarkable. Oh, you guys can barely hear this. We put the old band back together. We went and get Ash and Dave and Phil, and we put a team of about 30 talented, special people on it. And in June of 2016, Dead by Daylight came to be. One of the first key moments for us happened just a little before long. So the first Halloween before long. Why the hell am I getting a history of DVD? What the hell have I found? I found some kind of Easter egg. What the heck? And we had people play the game, and there was a lot of excitement, and it was really cool. And then we put the survivor on the big screen, and people went a little nuts. And we saw the crowd really gather and root for the little guy to survive. And we we realized at that point that not only was Dead by Daylight going to be a great game, but it's going to make for an amazing show. That's it. That was... That was... Wow. Okay. 
I didn't expect there to be a uh, a hidden um, speak like a speech on how the game started. Uh, DBD started. Interesting. But no matter how many things you listen to, you decide to ask one of the killers to spend more time until you sleep here. Uh, who would like to summon yours to your side and lay by the fire? Fucking Wraith, of course! Wraith, are you around? I was wondering if I could get a little company. I can't really sleep. Oh, that happens to me a lot. Um, okay, don't laugh. Promise? I promise. Um... I guess my secret to falling asleep is listening to the sounds of bells or chimes. This man would love a wind chime. Think of us as a uh, think of it as a white noise. To drown out anything or that might be hearing that's keeping you up. I listen to white noise all the time. My white noise is the sounds of dial up. Like what, Wraith? Like those distant streams that we can all hear coming from beyond the mountain? If that's, um, a bit morbid, I guess you could hold on to the chess piece of mine. Isn't, isn't that the doctor's thing? That's the doctor's thing, though, not yours. It's a knight. They're brave. Like I wish I were. The horsey is cute. Oh my god. I love the Wraith. We picked the right character. He is he is the most adorable out of all of them. He he is definitely the most chill out of all the killers here. You finally start to feel sleepy, except maybe this isn't really a sleepy feeling. Maybe you're paralyzed. You try to keep your eyes open, but you can't. Darkness overtakes you. Darkness imprisoning me! All I see! Absolute horror! The d dark voice <laughs> horsey is cute. Horsies are always adorable. Almost as adorable as a mallow. But not quite. Finally, my main in DVD getting some love. I know, right? They, they are actually really writing the wraith well in this game. And I like it. He's... Wraith, uh... Okay, so here... Here, here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can show you guys how I think of DVD. All right. Well, hold on. I need, I need my drawing utensils here. All right. Me. 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 And finally, me. Okay. So, for me... For me, there's a tier list. It's not like who's the best, though there it is there is a best tier. And um my main, which is my favorite, is clown. Alright. Alright, clown. It's kinda like a pyramid, though, for me. Because below that is tier two. Um and those are my second favorite killers to play. And those two are Pig and then Nemi. Nemi is my... And Pig are my second favorite killers to play out of this entire game. Because I really love Nemi's ability to do the tentacle thing. As well as I love the stupidity of the uh, zombies sometimes. And I like the pig because I like being a stealthy piece of crap sometimes and just watching people die with a reverse bear trap on their head. Like a total tool. Um, underneath that is tier three. These are killers that I don't mind playing and I like to try to get better at, but they just don't ha hold the same power as these other characters do in my heart. That would be like uh, Trickster. Trickster. I, I like Trickster because he's... He doesn't require as much, um, as much work as the, um, hatchet throwing mama does, but he's still fun to throw things at people. Um, 
Let's see, who else is in that? That would be Wraith as well. Wraith, I like being Bing Bong Boy because I like being invisible and then attacking people uh, with silent Bing Bongs and scaring the crap out of them. Um, let's see, who else? Who is in my tier three? Uh, I think there's another tier three. Um, trying to run through all the killers in my head. I know there's a third one, and I'm just not thinking of him at the moment. Let's see. Trapper, Huntress, uh, Billy, um, The Shape, Demogorgon. I, I guess Demo. I'd like Demo. He's in my third tier list there, so Demo is third tier. So that is kind of like... Um, that is my like top tiers there because I it's not it's not so much top one then second then third and then fourth it's more hey clown is my top tier pig and nemi are in second tier it's hard to sometimes choose between the two of them and then the third tier hey I like I do like playing demo I do like playing playing wraith and trickster but not as much as I like playing pig or nemi um and then I got like the fourth tier that would be like the twins um uh, Freddy. Oh, actually, no. That would be uh, The Shape, Michael Myers, and then, like, in the, the third tier, we got freaking killers like Freddy, who is... I love Freddy. Don't get me wrong. He's one of my all-time favorite horror movie villains. But he is absolute dog water in this game, and I don't like playing him. Um, and he doesn't even look like the, the original actor at all. Let's see. And then there's... Uh, who else do I not like to play? I don't like playing Twins very much, but I think he's more up here in Tier 4. But you, you see what I mean. This is this is, this is is how I feel about um, Dead by Daylight Killers. That, that, was just, that was just my rundown. I can I can do a full tier list at some point if anybody wants me to do that. Uh, dark voice from earlier speaks to you again. You shouldn't tell it still be a spooky, but now you've had a whole day of strange voices in your head. But this one is still undeniably odd. Look, I'm not saying that my feelings are hurt because you chose to swim with some pathetic little teacup. When you could have swam in the vastness of an entire, uh, me, I guess? I'm just saying that you made a foolish decision and I won't forget it. My feelings aren't hurt. I just lost some respect for you, that's all. Man, the entity... The entity being a douche over here. I think they, they took the modern remake of Freddy for the game. That's why he looks odd. And yeah, make that uh, the, uh, make a tier list one day. I can do that. I can do that. Show you who I really love the most. Other Well, other than that. I, I can real make like a... I think maybe a 6 or 7 tier list. You wake suddenly and you see someone looming over you. Uh, Spirit, you, you okay, bro? When you wake up, you find Spirit sitting beside you, reading a worn paper back. Oh, hey, what? Clearly, she has noticed that you're awake, but she hasn't actually looked at you. Seems like she's pretty focused on that book. <laughs> it seems like forever as she stares at the page before finally shutting the book and setting it down. Oh. You're awake. Yeah, I... Um... Never mind. I saw you with a wraith right before be, uh, before bedtime. I wouldn't tell you how to live your life, but if you ask me, you could do a lot better. It's completely by accident I even saw them over here. It's not like I was looking out for you or anything. Fucking baka! Oh, God. I was... Why? 
Why did they go Sundere? I knew they were going to go Sundere with her. I knew they were going to at least make a Sundere reference. But they did. And why? Why did they do it? You're heck right, frauds! It simply was the best reading light. And the text in my book is very, very fine print. So it's tough to read in the dark. What's the book about? Don't get the wrong idea. You and I are obviously mind our own business type. Not phony look out for each other as an excuse for each just being nosy type. But, well, since you're here and I'm here, maybe you got other things in common. You know, who knows? If we spend a little bit more time together tomorrow, we might find that, I don't know, we get along. And by get along, I mean exist simply and comfortably without feeling any burning desire to assassinate each other. Or not. Whatever. I don't care. Bye! Good night and sweet dreams to you, too, I guess. Finally alone for this real this time. Maybe. Not really, because I have you around, narrator. Always in my head. Always. Hydrate! <clears throat> I didn't nearly choke. On that deck! Oh, I mean that drink. Hopefully you're not poisoned. I still haven't been eating. I haven't eaten anything. Wait a second. Where are we? This isn't... Ah, oh, jeez. It's one of these really reality confessional rooms where all these contestants talk directly to the camera. I was hoping to end... I was hoping to end the game there and take a little break for my voice, but nope, that's not happening. I think today really went well. These are some of the first interactions with someone who is an apparent that didn't end in bloodshed or an untimely perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win, no matter what happens. Stop showing off your butt. What do you I think of the newcomer? Um, do I have to say, oh, I do? Okay, hmm. Attractive? Mysterious. Really don't think that many other words since I was raised by my mom in the woods until she was skewered by an elk and I had to wash her entrails off my seraphon. That being said, another three may, uh, should make sure to be on their guard. I don't know who this newcomer will want to spend time with tomorrow, but I, for one, will not let my guard down easily. No, who knows about the others? Wraith, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place, but he's a hard nut to crack. Meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time. Major buzzkill. And Trapper? Ooh, where do I even begin with Trapper? He's buff, sure. But daddy issues much? Sheesh. Look, I need, don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I eat a fine diet of raw deer, bear, and human, and I'm fit as a fiddle. That being said, something about this newcomer makes me think that I might be missing out on some huge part of this thing called life. Look, I'm always full of rage. The key is knowing how to control your rage so you can use it. I am a master of self-control. And right now I'm using all the self-control I can muster because today was a disaster. Let's just say I don't didn't love it. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Laugh. I said laugh, damn it. Anyway, I'm planning on killing this idiot. Don't tell them that, though. I want to lead them to it on a little more. It will make it that much better for me when they're screaming. Yeah, yeah, today was fun. I don't want to get ahead of myself, really. Um, invest in something that might hurt me, so I don't know. But we'll just see how it goes. Or maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem pretty smart, so that's probably what'll happen. I gotta learn to go easier on myself. Who could love me if I can't love myself? You know, I think I learned a lot about myself today. I always thought I was doomed to be alone for eternity. Only my creeping desire for revenge to keep me company. Now I know it! Still... Still alive. Still alive achievement. Okay. Save. Save, and let's go back to the main menu. So that was a good round 
first round, I'd say. Um, well, we got like two hours of gameplay in. We got through the first day. I think that's a perfect place to stop that, at least for now. And maybe move into Buck Snacks for about an hour or two. But Foist, um, let me go do a uh, BRB so I can get some uh, relaxation for my voice and recollect my thoughts. Big Brother Dead by Daylight. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. I can't wait to smooch the Wraithy Poo and then die a horrible death. 